Hi, good afternoon. My name is Ernie Winston. Uh, I work for Raytheon Corporation, and I represent electronic warfare systems. Um, a little bit about my background. Uh, I'm a former um, Prowler aviator and Growler aviator. So almost 3,000 hours in, um, in jamming aircraft, uh, to include the Growler, which uh, uh, I was lucky enough to, uh, to fly a few years ago. Some things I want to talk about. I'm going to talk about uh, today's threat environment, why we need NGJ, uh, a little bit about the program, and uh, some, of the, some of the capabilities, how we defeat those threats. In today's threat environment, excuse me. Uh, today's threat environment is very dynamic. We're seeing very advanced radars out there. We're seeing um, uh, advances in technology, advances in ranges, We're seeing extremely long range uh, uh, surface to air missiles, air to air missiles, things that are very hard to counter uh, with tactics alone. Uh, we're seeing advanced processing in some of these radars. Uh, you try to jam them in one area, they'll change how they operate, they change frequencies very rapidly, so it's very difficult, uh, very difficult to jam. Uh, they work together, um, multiple, multiple missiles will try to work together to, to shoot down aircraft, so it's very difficult to focus on a single threat. So NGJ hopefully will be able to, to counter multiple of those. Um, NGJ uses the extremely modern uh, digital software-based uh, equipment, AESA technology. So it's extremely powerful and extremely fast. It can get several targets at the same time, many targets at the same time with, with jamming, a lot, of, uh, a lot of jamming beams at the same time at incredible powers. Uh, uses uh, digital techniques, so as the radar tries to adapt to a new threat, NGJ can adapt uh, to keep to keep pace with it. And it's also scalable and upgradable. We built NGJ from the ground up to be upgradable, to be modular, to be changeable, to keep pace with ever-changing threats. All right, the, um, the features that put next generation and next generation jammer, um, you can read these, you can go through these. Uh, take away the, the big three things are here, extremely high power. So when a, a radar is very far away, you need a lot of power to get into it. NGJ is able to do that. It's extremely fast. I talked about it can jam multiple radars at the same time, so it can switch extremely fast. What those give you is a lot of capacity. Uh, now I can, I can jam a whole bunch of targets by switching um, switching beams or switching frequencies extremely, extremely fast. And of course it's upgradable like I talked about on the previous slide. Here's some of the, uh, the program highlights. Uh, talk about sophisticated techniques, um, extremely modern, can keep up with, with any threat uh, out there. Uh, dual pod operation. So we saw on the, the flight line earlier today we had a, we had a pod. Uh, it will actually be two pods, one on each side of the airplane. They will work together to give, to give complete coverage around the airplane um, in, in all directions. And they work together to optimize uh, jamming. Uh, program is now in the test phase. So we've started testing on the program. We're out of development and into test. Um, we've done a lot of ground testing, ground vibration testing. We've put the pod on, on the growler to make sure it fits, make sure it integrates. Make sure the software is integrated so the airplane and the pod um, can communicate, that the operator in the cockpit can communicate with the pod uh, through, through, the, uh, through the system. Um, uh, and I think we're, we're doing uh, uh, chamber testing. So we, we put the pods on an airplane, put it in a chamber, bring it up to high power to make sure both sides can jam effectively, bring it up to full power to make sure it's meeting its expected power levels. And we're seeing great results. Uh, it's, doing, it's doing really well right now. Um, last year, last, I believe it was August, we did a uh, power generation flight where we put the pod on a business jet, flew it, uh, opened the doors. So it has doors on it that open and spin a turbine to generate its own power. Uh, we successfully completed those tests last year. And I think in the next month or so, we're going to fly it on the ground for the first time. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that coming up. And you can see some of the production facilities already. So these, this is a pod already in production, um, and we're, we're starting to develop, or I'm sorry, we're starting to uh, deliver test pods to the Navy, and they've already received several of them. 
So this year, looking forward, doing more testing, uh, put it in the chamber, run it up to power, do some of the more advanced techniques, make sure that works, make sure the integration between the airplane and the uh, <coughs> pods work, and, and then more flight testing. Fly the pod on the airplane, take it to the range, uh, and, make sure, and make sure it jams. And then later this, year, later this year, we'll get approval from the government to go to our first, first round of production of the production pods, and that's going to be hopefully in September. We'll see that. I think for Finland, I think uh, this is a great, great option for, for the Finnish Air Force. Um, NGJ really is a force multiplier for, uh, for not just the Navy, but for the U.S. Air Force as well. Uh, Navy growlers support U.S. Air Force missions as well. They deploy with them, they train with them, uh, and if need be, they would fight with them. So not just the U.S. Navy is going to be using that gen jammer. The U.S. Air Force will be using growlers to support their aircraft as well in the fight. And I think that speaks a lot to the flexibility of, uh, of Growler and the usefulness of Growler across all programs, coalition or uh, US. That's all I have at the moment. Looking forward to any questions. And if you don't have questions for me now, I'll be available later for one-on-one. -on -one.